Hello. This video will talk about a special capability in the Calcium program called the Molecular Editor. So I'm going to open up Calcium. And the Molecular Editor can be reached by clicking here where it says Molecular Editor. So we'll click that once with our left mouse button. That opens up a new window, the Molecular Editor. The first thing I'm going to do is show you how to open up a molecule that's already been created. To do that, we'll come down to the button near the bottom in the middle that says Loading a Molecule. When I click on that, it will open up a new window and it will show me some different molecules that are already created and stored on the system. So let's go ahead and choose propane. So I click on propane and I click open. And it shows the propane molecule. Now under display here I have several options. I can change what is called the quality to high, medium, or low. I can also change the style. I, I like this style which is called balls and sticks, but you can also do just sticks. You can do a van der Waals, and you can do a wireframe. Let me go back to balls and sticks. You can also change some of the other ways that it labels them. I'm going to say none. And for element symbols you can say no element symbol. You can show the atomic numbers, the atom numbers, I'm sorry, the atom numbers, the element symbols, and the element names. Let's go back to the element symbols. It will show the name, the formula, and the weight over here. And one thing that I like is that we can move the molecule around to see it from different angles. And so to do that, we move our mouse over to the window here where the molecule is showing up. And we can push and hold down our left mouse button and rotate the molecule around. And by grabbing the screen in different places, we can rotate it in different ways. so the students can really see how this molecule is put together. Now one other feature of the molecular editor is up here under the measure tab. So let's click on the tab that says measure. And it says we can click on two atoms to measure a distance. So let me go ahead and click on these two carbon uh, atoms here. I'll click first on this one and then on this one and it shows up the distance between those two atoms in angstroms. Now it says further it can click, I can click on three atoms to measure an angle. So let me go ahead and click on a third atom here and it now shows the angle created by those three atoms and I can change my atoms by unclicking first and then reclicking another one. And then finally it says I can click on four atoms to measure a dihedral angle. So let me click on a fourth one. And you can see it puts the data down here, the different distances and the angles that we've selected. And again to unselect something we can just click on it it will go away. So that's viewing a molecule that's already been created. What we're going to do now is go ahead and edit a molecule. So I'm going to just go ahead and close it first and then reopen it so I can start with a blank screen. And now we're going to click Edit. Now when I click Edit, I can choose the element that I want to use um, for the atoms that I'm going to add to my molecule. 
I'm going to start by making a benzene ring. And so I want six carbon atoms. So I'm going to go ahead and move my mouse over here and when I click my left mouse button a carbon atom shows up. So I'm going to move my mouse around and make six carbon atoms. Now I can go ahead and by clicking this I can choose um, other molecules but I just need carbon right now for my my benzene ring. Now we're going to add the bonds between the atoms. So here I have a choice of doing single, double, or triple bonds. I'm going to start by making the single bonds um, in my benzene ring. <clears throat> so to make a bond I move my mouse over to the molecule where I want to start sorry the atom where I want to start the bond I push down and hold my mouse button and I drag over to the atom where I want to create that bond and that makes a single bond. So now I'm going to make two more single bonds so again I move my mouse to the atom where the bond is going to start I push down and hold my left mouse button and I move to the second atom where I want the bond and now I'll make my third bond. Now I want to add the double bonds so I'm going to come over here to where it says bond order and I'm going to select double. I make my double bonds now in the same way. I choose the atom where I want to start my double bond. I push down and hold my left mouse button and drag it over to the atom where I want to create that double bond. And I'm going to add two more of those to make my ring now of carbons for my benzene. Now I can go ahead and I could actually add hydrogens in the same way. But what I want to do is use a feature here where it adds my hydrogens automatically. So I'm going to delete that hydrogen and to do that I click on it with my right mouse button. So anytime you want to delete an atom you just click on it with your right mouse button. And I'm going to ask it to add the hydrogens. So when I click that it will add the hydrogens automatically to my benzene ring. So now I have my benzene ring and when I click the button optimize it will set the shape properly of my benzene ring. So I click optimize and so there I am there's my benzene ring now and just like before if I go to display I can show ball and sticks, sticks and so on. Now if I want to save this molecule that I've just created I can come down and I can click save molecule and that will allow me to save the molecule in my documents. So I'm going to call it benzene and I'm going to click save. So now I've saved that molecule in my documents that I can share with students. Now suppose I want to change this into instead of benzene I want to make a toluene molecule. I'm going to go back to edit and what I need to do is I need to remove one of those hydrogens and add a new carbon. So first of all I'm going to remove a hydrogen. So I move my mouse to one of the hydrogens, I click with my right mouse button and it disappears. The next thing I want to do is now to add a carbon. So I'm going to come over to element, I'm going to select carbon and I'm going to click once with my left mouse button to create a new carbon atom. Now I need to add the bond. So I come over here to bond order and I believe this is a, a single bond. I'm going to select single bond and I'm going to create a single bond between this carbon and this carbon. So I push down and hold my mouse button while I'm positioned over this carbon and I drag down to the carbon where I want to connect. 
So there I am. I've added my carbon and I'm going to go ahead and click Remove Hydrogens. That removes all of my hydrogens. Now if I click Add Hydrogens again, it will add the hydrogens as many as are needed to complete all of the bonds that I have with all of my carbon atoms. And I'll click Optimize again and there I have my toluene. And I can go to Display now and I can look at my toluene as I move it around like this. And I can check the angles and distances if I go to Measure. I'm going to click on those two atoms, my carbon and my hydrogen, and I'm going to click on one more hydrogen here to get that angle. And now I will turn that off by clicking again on the atoms. And I want to save this molecule too, so I click Save Molecule and it will ask me what I want to call it. I'm going to call it toluene and I'll click Save. So that's a very quick demonstration of how to use the molecular editor in calcium. And it's very exciting because uh, we've done just some organic molecules here, but you can actually create all kinds of molecules uh, using this editor just by choosing the different elements and um, adding your bonds. And then when you're finished, it's usually good to click Optimize so it will show the proper uh, distances and angles of the, of the molecule you've just created. When you're finished, you can go ahead and click Close and it will close the molecular editor. But now that you've saved those new um, uh, molecules, you can open those and show them to your students. So that was just a quick tutorial on using the molecular editor in calcium. I hope you enjoy using it and thank you very much for listening.